Now it's time for your 420 Radio News for Thursday, May 9th, 2013. I'm Russ Belville. Medical marijuana bill clears Illinois Senate Committee from the Chicago Tribune. A key panel of Senate lawmakers advanced legislation Wednesday that would allow patients with certain illnesses to use marijuana to ease their symptoms. The measure was approved on a 10 to 5 vote by the Senate Executive Committee, despite concerns raised by law enforcement officials that the bill would not prevent medical marijuana cardholders from driving under the influence. Under the bill, a four-year pilot program would be established to allow doctors to prescribe patients no more than two and a half ounces of marijuana over two weeks. Patients would have to buy from one of 60 dispensing centers across the state and could not grow their own. The Illinois Association of Chiefs of Police and the Illinois Sheriff's Association argue the legislation should include blood and urine testing to allow police to determine whether a cardholder had marijuana in their system while driving. Massachusetts adopts medical marijuana rules from the Lowell Sun online. After some adjustments to draft regulations, the Massachusetts Public Health Council on Wednesday wrote into the state's regulatory code rules governing the medical use of the recreational drug, which voters had set into law by passing a ballot proposal last November. The final rules maintain that the definition of 10 ounces is a 60-day supply. It will rely on doctors to determine if a patient has a debilitating condition that marijuana could treat, and it raises the income level that would allow a patient to qualify for discounted marijuana or allow that person to apply for home cultivation. Under the regulations approved Wednesday, patients whose income is less than 300% of the federal poverty line would qualify. Driver gets $35,000 after being searched for pot smell and nothing found from the Denver Channel. A man who says he was put in handcuffs for an hour because he allegedly smelled of marijuana is getting $35,000 from the city of Loveland, according to the ACLU. David Kramer said he was stopped for a minor traffic issue on July 4th, 2011. Kramer was held in handcuffs for more than an hour and was subjected in violation of his Fourth Amendment rights to a search of his body, his wallet, and his vehicle by Loveland police, who gave no justification other than a claim they smelled marijuana according to a letter that ACLU attorneys sent to the city of Loveland. Loveland police found no marijuana, and a drug dog brought to the scene failed to alert, the ACLU said. (laughs) Colombia hopes marijuana will help addicts kick hard drug habit from Fox News Latino. The Colombian government is testing a new tactic to wean addicts off of synthetic drugs. In upcoming weeks, the officials in the country's capital of Bogota will begin a program giving marijuana to addicts of bazooko, a cheap form of cocaine made out of drug residue mixed with kerosene and sulfuric acid that gives users a crack-like high and a heroin-like addiction. In Colombia, as well as the United States, marijuana is viewed by many as a gateway drug that leads users to harder substances such as cocaine and heroin. But Julian Andres Quintero, the head of Acción Técnica Social, a nonprofit that is working on the initiative, said, quote, This project is not aimed at getting people to quit using. This is about reducing risks and mitigating the damage. We want people to quit a substance that is very, very damaging and transition to something less dangerous and which will allow them to function in society, end quote. Researchers cite the success of similar programs in Canada, Brazil, and Jamaica as proof that the initiative will succeed in Colombia. A 2002 study of crack users in Jamaica found that of 14 women surveyed who gave up the drug, 13 attributed it to smoking marijuana, according to the Iowa College of Nursing. Team Alpha Male coach Dwayne Ludwig uses THC to get a different look when studying film. From MMM... MMAmania.com. Former UFC and kickboxing veteran Dwayne Ludwig has taken over the reins at Team Alpha Male during the past four months, and the results have been extraordinary. The five Alpha Male fighters on the UFC roster have gone 9-0 and in that short span, scoring increasingly impressive victories, most recently winning all three fights on UFC on Fox by stoppages inside the second round. So what's Ludwig's secret weapon? Quote, It's freaking legal. Let me address the issue. When I watch film, I watch film normal how I am now. Then I watch film when I'm high on marijuana. I watch film from different states of consciousness to get a different look at things, just to see if maybe I missed a step." End quote. 
That's your 420 Radio News for Thursday, May 9th, 2013. I'm Russ Belleville. When we come back, we go behind the headlines to take a look at case law that has determined marijuana patients have no employment rights whatsoever. You're listening to the Russ Belleville Show on 420radio.org. We'll be right back. Adam Hand of Handmade Apparel produces 